So I'm Steve Dow. I'm a professor in the Department of Clinical Sciences and a member of the Flint Animal Cancer Center. My name is Jenna Tsao. I'm a graduate student here at CSU in the Animal Cancer Center. And we've been working in this field for a couple of decades now, using the immune system to treat cancers. Classically, it's been chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery. But what's changed now in the last 10 years, really the last five years, is you've got a fourth arm. That fourth arm is immunotherapy. We've always thought that if you could engage the immune system appropriately, that it would have a big impact on cancer treatment. Our body's full of immune cells. We just have to teach them to do the right thing. I think this work is really important to the fight against cancer and finding a new modality to treat, uh, not just the conventional chemotherapy, but having um, another avenue with immunotherapy for patients who may not respond to traditional treatment and for patients who have never had a good option with the type of cancer that they have. I guess our work started out looking at um, one of the two major components of the immune system, which is called the innate immune system. More recently, we've begun to um, incorporate the second arm of the immune system, what we call the adaptive immune response, which is the T cells that are really important to controlling and, and eradicating cancer cells. And, and that's what's really been the game changer, is having the tools and, and approaches and drugs to make the immune system work better. So my project is to develop a chimeric antigen receptor T cell, so immune therapy targeting B7H3, which is a molecule on tumors. Specifically, we're looking to target osteosarcoma that usually occurs in large breed dogs and also commonly occurs in adolescent children. Well, then we have some new studies with some of the really cutting edge immunotherapies where we're engineering T lymphocytes to attack both bone cancer and brain cancer. And if those are successful, we'll move those into pediatric patients as well. I think what's really exciting about this work is that we get to help both animals and their owners. So by doing this research, we can both help dogs who have cancer and then further down the line, help children who have the same types of cancer. I guess our ultimate goal is treating animal cancer successfully and then quickly and efficiently moving that into kids and adults for, for their cancer. So if, if we can use the same approach to treat both species, that's a big win for all of us.